Hey Houston, I thought I'd do is show you a little bit about how to deal with this sort of cemetery data, but it's actually a great way to learn how to do stuff with numbers. You might have learned this in math class, but just in case you haven't, we're going to look at two different data points. You're going to plot some graphs, print them up, and find out some information about them. So you're going to like download the C Sydney, like a Sydney, Australia cemetery data. You're going to download this, and this is, has to do with uh, how much weathering happens in uh, a particular cemetery in Sydney. You'll then open this up and then you've got a whole bunch of data. Now, now what you're going to need to do is just copy this data. So it's going to open probably up in numbers. You're going to copy the data. Boom. Copy the data. I'm not going to copy this data. What I'm going to do is I want to copy some different data because I want you to see what it might look like. So I've got some different data here. This has to do with uh, carbon emissions based on fossil fuel. Same process. I've got it in a different program, but it's still a bunch of numbers. So now I'm going to copy the data, and then I'm going to go to a program that you may or may not have. Uh, if you don't, you can get it through the, the, the system at the school. I'm now going to paste the data in this first box. You have to click on that box. I paste, and I get a whole bunch of data. It draws a graph. Now, this graph isn't quite zoomed the way I'd want, so if I double tap down here, what I can do is I can change the scale. My scale was actually like from 1700 or something. This was starting in the year 1700, and it went to like uh, uh, 2012, I think, maybe. Let's just say 2020. This is a yearly data, and I have a graph now. So this is the graph. Now what I want to do is I want to see if I can find what the, if you will, the equation for the line is. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of my data. That makes sense here. So now what I want to do is I want to find the, the line of best fit. And the way to do that is to select the data. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm pushing the shift button out now. And I'm selecting all the data. I'm just dragging it up ooh, to the top. This set has quite a bit of data, doesn't it? Way so, he's a, the one you have won't have as much data as this. It says many, 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 many lines of data. Hundreds and hundreds, okay. Oh, do, 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 do. There's probably a faster way to do this. We're at 82, okay. And now I'm going to click on this line here for a, a linear fit. And it says, now this is not a linear graph. You're probably obviously aware that, that that's not a linear graph, but your graph will be linear. And it's going to give you the thing that you're looking for is the slope. In this case, the slope is 4.8 of this line, which is the line of best fit. But this is actually what we call an exponential graph. And uh, from that slope, you can determine how fast and how quickly the rate of decay of the rocks are at the cemetery. So then you can do that. You'll print this up. You we we'll want to uh, prettify the graph, double click on it if you want to, and what is Y? Y is the, in this case, uh, global CO2 emissions, right, and boom, that's six and that says global CO2 emissions, and X is going to be the same, by the way, in your case, it will be, um, it'll be, uh, column X will be date, etc. That's how you do it. We'll see you in class.